Good morning, Eisenhower Eagles. Today is Friday, April 1st. It is cycle day eight, so you will have guidance today. Or will you? I don't know. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, boys and girls, you may be seated. For lunch today, it has changed. It is not your walking taco because tacos just stopped walking. I don't know. I don't know why. Ask the tacos. But it is a soft taco today or a bagel kids bowl. And your sides are corn with shredded lettuce, diced tomatoes, and orange wedges. Monday, which will be April 4th, it will be a chicken drumstick with a roll or Italian flatbread sandwich with your side of tater tots and peaches. Okay, uh, boys and girls, for special announcements today, we have uh, zero birthdays today, zero to say today. So I know on the announcements I mentioned yesterday that we're going to do something different instead of announcing all the summer birthdays at once. We're going to do something a little different. So starting April 20th, because May 19th is your last day. So we got a little while still. But on April 20th, we're going to start calling summer birthdays at the same time. So what, ha what will happen, an example, April 20th, and then anybody who has a May 20th or a June 20th or a July 20th, their birthday will get called because they won't be in school or you won't be in school either during those days. Okay, then when we roll into May 1st, we'll start announcing some of the August birthdays as well. Okay, because we won't be in school for August 1st or August 2nd or August 3rd and so on. Okay, if it doesn't make sense to you, I think the teachers get it. I'm going to send them specific details, but just, you know, all you have to do is listen for your name starting April 20th. So we've got a little bit. All right, uh, boys, girls, we are done with the reading and SCAS testing for the classrooms. Now, there might be, there are some makeups to take. There might be some taking place today. There might be some taking place on, you know, next week sometime. So we still need to be quiet in the halls. All right. All right. For our PBIS. We've done enough with the voice levels. I think we're doing pretty good in the hallways with the voice levels. We are going to revisit today playground expectations. Okay. Remember, we are to spread kindness. Okay. Include everyone and take turns and use your kind words. Obey safety rules. Use the playground equipment properly. Listen and follow teacher directions. Act responsibly. Put all equipment back on cart and line up when the bell rings and respect self, others, and property. Avoid all pushing and shoving. Be a good sport and play by the rules, okay? So what that means when you avoid pushing and shoving, just keep your hands to yourself. Even if you're playing a game of tag, it's tag, not push and tackle. Understood? I think who I had to talk to yesterday, I hope you got it. And you're done doing that. Also, yesterday, fifth grade, your officer talked to you about the D.A.R.E. graduation and you made that pledge. We're watching for that pledge. OK, and everybody else in the building, your fifth graders pledge to not be bullies and to be good citizens in the school. They pledged that. So we want all eyes because they're setting the example for everyone else. So everybody's eyes is kind of watching that, watching for the good things that our fifth graders are doing because they're going to set that precedence before they leave us and go to sixth grade. So we're going to be watching, make sure they live up to that pledge. Every single one of them did it. So we know you can do it. Um, and then everybody else in the building will follow suit and act as they act if it's the correct action. 
right? Okay. All right, boys and girls, that is all I have for today. It is Friday. The forecast looks pretty good. I know a lot of soccer stuff starts tomorrow. So if you're playing soccer, have fun. Good luck. I know some softball stuff starts tomorrow. If you're playing softball, have fun and good luck or anything you're doing this weekend. I want you to enjoy and have a good time. But we're going to close out Friday super strong today and everybody's going to have a fan fantastic day. So we will see you all in the hallways, in the classrooms, in the lunchroom, outside and all over the place. We will see you. Happy April Fool's Day. Peace out. Bye.